What's up everybody? Yeah, it's Andrew Love again here at the UCNYC. And I just want to say thank you for checking in. And uh, today I just wanted to let you know that we started a brand new quarter, which is called Faith in Motion. And the idea is you can say that you believe in this or that, but it's what you do that matters, right? So when you look back, say at last week, what do you believe by the things that you did? Do you believe that uh, your time is, is best spent helping other people or being selfish and just doing things about me, 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 me? Just look at your week, right? And so the first episode of Faith in Motion in this quarter, we talked about a priority shift because human beings uh, traditionally have done a great job at creating stuff but stuff that's not attuned to the purpose of God's heart. Now I have a quote from the Divine Principle, which are the core teachings of the Unification Church, uh, and from chapter Eschatology, 1-1, uh, it goes a little something like this. Human beings are endowed with emotional sensitivity to the heart of God, intuition and reason to comprehend His will, and the requisite abilities to practice it. A person who relates with God in this manner will attain perfection of his individual character. So what that means is we are born innately inside of us with the ability to understand and be sensitive to the heart of God, to understand our purpose and God's purpose for us and to do something about that. But again, when you look back at last week, were you creating a life outside of that? or inside of that purpose? Were you doing actions that were connected to the sensitivity of God's heart, which is wanting goodness for all people, which is wanting all people to feel love? Or was it just because you had to do stuff? You had to run errands, you had to pick up the kids, you had to drop off the kids, you had to make lasagna sandwiches for the kids, you wanted to make brownies for yourself, you had to drop something off at of grandma. These things are all great, but what was the purpose? How often did you stop and connect all the things that you did to the purpose, which is God, which is building a world filled with God's love. So I challenge you to please think about how you can connect all the different facets of your life to the core essence of our meaning, which is God's heart, God's love. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you very, very shortly. God bless.